Welcome back to more Uncharted Waters with me, Epping Controller, and we are in Panama again. For the second time, we are in Panama, running around like an idiot. See, we're we're, we're actually in Panama this time. Yeah, this Let's Play has just incepted. We're actually just gonna get out of here. I forget why we're here. We I think we just needed food. So we're gonna fill up the bum fondle and get going. Sail on up the coast. Oh, we needed to get men. Oh well. Maybe it'll start raining men later. Hallelujah. So there should be some discoveries in this area. Oh <laughs> well. Ask and ye shall receive. I'm God. Let's go ahead and just land here and get some fame. Or not. Here we go with the entertaining. Oh, you guys are such a bunch of peaches for uh, putting up with my uh, entertaining and landing and entertaining. I really do appreciate you watching this because I know that it probably is a little bit tedious to some of you who are used to some of my other videos. So, truly, I do appreciate it. Um... Yeah, this is going to take a little while, I guess. God damn it! What do I have to do for you people? God! We're basically in Nicaragua, so maybe mountains of cocaine would help. I don't know. <laughs> Usually they do. Wow, we've discovered the Revolutionary War. Nope. Cultural artifact. For some reason that plays whenever you get a cultural artifact, and even if it is something with a one-sentence description. The Mural of Maralinko. A mural of warriors and hunting gods. Wow. <laughs> they couldn't... They just couldn't be arsed to add another sentence. Oh, we've discovered Guatemala, meanwhile. Okay, well, we'll stop in Guatemala for no good reason. Actually, so that I can try and get some crew. It's 4 a.m., so the cafe is uh, closed. Um, I'll take this opportunity, I guess, to go to the... I'll take this opportunity, <laughs> I guess, to go... Yeah, to the Round Earth Society. The Round Earth Society is interesting. And by interesting, I mean completely boring. This is all you can do here. You can also give them money. Um... Here's the thing with uh, the Round Earth Society. It's basically a church. And it just is a way of you donating money to the game to make the game god, the random <laughs> random number generator, give you better results in certain regards. Um, I think it might decrease the likelihood of storms. I think it might do things that I am wrong about it doing. Oh god, why did I go in here? I'm sorry. Yeah, we, we know you want to engage in rumpy pumpy with her. Just, just leave it. Leave it. I feel like I'm talking to my dog. Okay, let's go to the lodge. I just need to burn some time because I want to show you guys the fortune teller too. And back to what I was originally talking about. Um, certain things are easier for you to do when you have a higher... It's, it's really tracked as luck. Um, if you have a higher luck stat. Oh, you piece of donkey shit. Um, oh, wait, I could... God damn it. We'll repair the ship, because I think it does need repairs. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing, apparently, as usual. Let's go to the cafe, then. Um, and this luck stat that I was talking about, what it does is... I think it might affect the likelihood of storms. I think it might affect um, the appearance of certain seaborne hazards other than storms, like fog is another one. The wind can also die out. That has not happened in the course of our um, our little jaunt, but it probably will at some point. Wow. Look you, Scarface. Really falling on hard times. We only need 14 men, right? Oh, I don't know how to do math, apparently. Uh, but the other thing, and this is actually opportune, uh, is that 
certain ports, if you invest in them high enough, will give you really, really good figureheads. Thus compounding your good luck. Um, I think Venice is one of them. I think Nantes might be one and Antwerp might be one. And they also give you really good cannons if your luck stat is high. And that doesn't make any sense to me, but... I don't know. <laughs> it's a Koei game. It doesn't really have to make a whole lot of sense. They have all these variables that you have no idea what they mean, and I forget what the hours of the fortune teller are. I'm imagining that it's mostly nighttime oriented to add mystery and enchantment. Okay, let's try it now. It's not nighttime, strictly speaking, and they still don't want to tell my fortune. The reason I'm wanting to do this is because the fortune teller will tell you how lucky you are. And I've been curious about that, and I haven't bothered to check. Let's... I just want to hear about life. Take a seat. I will. Ooh. That's bad. Okay, well... I think we did stop by here before, but our luck is really low. And that's not good. Um... So we need to do something about that. You can donate to the Round Earth Society, though. And it the stupid thing about it is... You, um... Your luck increases... Uh... If you donate half of your... Over half of your gold, you'll get ten luck points, which aren't tracked anywhere. And, um... But if you donate... It depends on... If you have, like three gold and you donate two, it'll give you the same effect as if you were to, you know, have 25,000 gold and donate, you know, 12,500. 12, it's one of those silly systems that Koei has, but whatever. We're just going to keep going and I don't really care about the luck thing. I'm not really too keen on getting an absolute best figurehead in the game because I'm not probably going to be sailing for too much longer because we are rapidly approaching the end of the game, as a matter of fact. And if we get more villages, we'll get even closer. So all of you will be put out of your misery. All of you silent hunter craving lunatics out there <laughs> won't have to deal with this shit anymore. But I'll probably replace it with something else you hate, so there you go. I shouldn't probably read too much into that. I'm sure that there are plenty of you who don't hate it. You just would rather watch something else. So there you go. Meanwhile, we're entertaining the shit out of these people, and they're just not giving it up. They're never going to give it up. They're never going to let it down. Oh, did I just do that? Crap. Well, okay. I'm just going to move right along. This is apparently going to be somewhat valuable, too. How about we go to 40? Oh my god! It's probably going to be another one sentence thing. Nope. <laughs> a manuscript of Mayan legends <laughs> describing their philosophy, cosmology, and history. Isn't that cosmology? Isn't that where you, like, do people's nails? Oh, never mind. Hey, so we're going to keep going up the coast. And hope for... I think that there's one more discovery here, but I don't think we're going to get it. So now we're going to go into the Gulf of California. And, oh, maybe that's what I was thinking of. This might be another cultural artifact, which we can now plunder from the uh, Colombian Indians here. Shit! They're not Colombian. Well, wait, are they post-Columbian? They're not pre-Columbian anymore. I don't know what I'm talking about. Basically, we're going to steal some stuff from some Native Americans. Yay! And then we're going to give them some blankets and... You know, this isn't funny. <laughs> it's, it's gotten to the point where it's it's just not funny. Okay, let's keep entertaining. It does make you think, though. Like, how, how does this mechanism work? You entertain them and then they give you fabulous riches? I mean, and you have to keep doing it? I, I don't know. I, I don't buy it. This is not something we're going to steal, though. This is the Mexican beaded lizard. A large lizard. Blah, 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 blah. Let's try that again. A large lizard with black and yellow bead-like scales. Uh, its secret weapon is its ability to produce poison in its mouth. That's kind of a ho-hum secret weapon in my book. A lot of animals are poisonous. 
it's best to assume that all animals are poisonous. All right. I live in a very tiny world, apparently. <laughs> Everything's poisonous. Everything will kill you. All right. So now we're passing Baja, and now we're going to go to Santa Barbara, which is in California. And I don't have a name for this. Um, I don't know. God, I'm not. I'm not a real goofball. Yeehaw! Let's give it a silly name, kind of a guy. Usually. Um, so that's why I'm reliant on your uh, suggestions. So I'm going to name it Dongs, except spelled funny. It's a combination of a dong and a tongue. Oh. <laughs> or if you want to pronounce it uh, in Spanish, it's Dongues, which might mean donkey. I don't know. Let's supply up and get the hell out of Dongs. And go. This coast here is pretty boring uh, in the game. Oh, <laughs> shit. Shut my mouth. Um, let's see. I think this is something that really shouldn't be here. But we'll... Oh, <laughs> I'm not even on the frickin' right tile. I was wondering why the music didn't change. And there you go. An exotic animal, okay. Eh. <laughs> the bison. <laughs> I don't know if they had bison in Southern California. Just a hunch, I don't think that they did. Maybe they did, who knows. The bison, a large wild bull that can weigh almost a ton. It is hunted for both food and its hide, which can be used to make leather. Such great numbers roam the plains that it is hard to imagine them ever becoming extinct. It really truly is! How could that ever happen? It's like if people just killed them gratuitously for no reason. That would be the only way. Alright. Now we're uh, in Oregon. <laughs> And the Columbia River is completely omitted. <laughs> it's not, you know, it, just the Great River of the West. And you also can't get into Puget Sound, but whatever. Those are stupid states, and I hate them. All right. Uh, now we're in Alaska already. These are the... I don't know what these are called. The Butthole Islands. Oh, Juno! Great! We can... Name it after the movie, Juno. I don't know. Let's name it... Um... Ooh, boy. <laughs> I've really got nothing, you guys. Um... Uh, it's gonna have the word fart in it. Let's just get that out of the way. Fart. Castle. There's no castle here. But it's like, it's like Greenland. Greenland. You know how it's not green at all? There's no fart castle here, so... <laughs> people, <laughs> people who move here in anticipation of it being a fart castle, much like people move to Greenland anticipating it being actually green, they're gonna be hugely disappointed. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Let's uh, supply up and get out of Fart Castle. So I, I, you know what? I normally like to keep the list of names that people have given me uh, on hand. I, for some reason, didn't this time. I guess I'm just phoning it in, you guys. I apologize. Well, anyways, let's just keep going along the Alaskan coast. And, uh, what was I going to... I'm not drunk, I promise. I, I'm just not with it right now. LPing while drunk is kind of a dubious enterprise in my opinion. But anyways, uh, yeah, we're just fiddle farting around here in Alaska. And we've already explored most of this, if I recall. Yes. So we're just gonna bolt up to, oh, you know what I should do? I should do this right now. Do I have enough food? I probably have enough food. 
Uh, I might die, though. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to save the game. <laughs> and uh, hope that we don't get devoured by storms. I need to discover Hawaii. And surprise, Hawaii is in the middle of the Pacific. I don't know if anybody needed to have that spoilered. So you didn't get it spoilered regardless. Um, let's take a look at the map. And I think that we're in roughly the right area. And also, if I recall correctly, Hawaii doesn't have any discoveries. It has a port, though. It also has a shitload of storms, so we want to avoid those. Okay, I was a little bit too far west. This isn't really the best way to get to Hawaii, as far as I can tell, but it works. All right. Yay! We've discovered an unpronounceable port. Nalehu! I am Nalehu! Lord of Krondar! Okay. That is ridiculous. Let's rename this, uh, since these are called the Sandwich Islands, uh, historically, by um, Captain Cook. We're going to name it the Slamwich Islands. We're going to call this port Slamwich. Or how about Manwich? Mmm... Tasty and sexy. Okay. Man witch. Man witch for all. That is gross. <laughs> okay, we're gonna resupply and get out of here. No more man witches. It's a big problem on my crew, apparently. <laughs> I just want to be the piece of meat in the middle. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm done with that. That's... That's horrible. Let's keep going. And I'm really tempted to speed through this, but I'm not gonna. I'm trying to restrain myself with the uh, frame skipping because, as I might have mentioned, I think I did mention, part of my whole reason for Let's Playing is to um, feel like playing a video game is more of a casual thing and not a thing where I need to make progress immediately and win the fucking game now. So, that's that's partly why I'm doing this. And to that end, I'm not going to use uh, frame skipping. So, if you wanted to know that, you now know. If you didn't want to know that, my apologies. Uh, let's find Gnome, which I gave some kind of Sarah Palin-related name, and I don't recall it. She's just such a super lady. And there we go. Is it blood libel? It is blood libel. Fantastic! Okie dokie. Gonna resupply, and we're getting into an area of the game uh, that is personally my most, well, I shouldn't say my most hated. It's the most challenging for me. Uh, the reason being is that um, in, this, in these islands here, you're gonna run into some weird formations of land, some weird islands. I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna get, it's gonna get weird. It's already been pretty weird, I'm sure, for you guys. But um, the islands here are kind of maze-like, and I get lost in here really easily. And I think most people do, just based on what I've read and heard and all the things I know about this wonderful game. All right. Come on. There should be a port coming up soon. I hope. <laughs> That's another thing about this is that if you do get lost, your uh, nearest port is pretty far away. So there's Copper Mine. Ugh. Somehow somebody has already gotten here and made a Copper Mine, so good for them. And we're going to rename this. Hey, we're going to rename this um, so after something Canadian. How about Denim Jackets? No. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. There we go. I'm content with this. <laughs> I'm really pleased with that. If only I could sail around holding a rum and coke constantly. 
Who says I'm not? Let's just imagine that Ernst is a complete and total lush and a failure at everything. Oh, good times, good times with the trailer park, boys. Let's um, sail around this island here. I think that there is a discovery on one of these islands up here. Oh, snap! I remembered it. Oh, shit, and I don't know how to steer this thing. And I do believe that we will have to entertain to get this. And I don't remember which one this is. So I'm going to get this up to 35. Because I know it's fairly high value. You know, I'm thinking about it. Um, normally, Ernst, I, I don't have to entertain as much with him. And I'm thinking that what I was talking about with the luck stat might have something to do with it. I thought it had something to do with his charisma, but his charisma obviously is constant. It's not going to change from game to game, really, unless you're doing vastly different things, but um, I'm wondering if that has something to do with it. Someone out there who's a real numbers person, somebody who knows stuff, will be able to figure that out. Oh, you assholes! <laughs> yeah, go ahead and stay in freaking Arctic Canada. See if I care. Great job. The blue whale, the largest animal in the world, sometimes reaching a length of 30 meters and weighing over 150 tons. Not really worth using a torpedo on something like that. I'm just saying. We'll stick with the deck gun for that. Or we'll just ram it, actually. That's that's definitely rammable. And joke. Okay, where... Yeah. Let's go back to Sunny Bay. That's a fucking nice kitty. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. And we're resupplying and we're getting the hell out of Sunnyvale now. Yeah, we can sail for quite a while because of my stupid and treacherous crew. We're just going to go enjoy Canada. The Canadian Arctic Islands. Good for them. The Northwest Territories. Oh boy. Not quite in none of it yet, but we'll get there. Um, I'm gonna head north a ways, and I think that there is one more that uh, one more discovery that used to constantly elude me that is in this area. I don't remember for absolutely sure, but <clears throat> basically we're at the North Pole right now, though. So, yay! Yay! <laughs> Everybody, cheer with me! Come on! you cheer, it'll make you warmer. Come on. Ah, forget it. So you don't have to... I, I, I think I mentioned before that you kind of have to explore the whole map to win the game. You don't really have to explore the whole map. There's a percentage of the map that you have to get, and I don't know what it is, but it's a, it's a fairly high percentage, and exploring the whole world is definitely doable, other than those areas which are covered by land and hence not saleable. But... Um, these areas here, I think that they do count towards that total, so you know, since I'm in the area, I'm just going to go ahead and notch those off. Notch those off? What does that mean? Does that, has anybody ever said that? Does it, whatever. I'm not going to try to find explanations for my irrational talk. Okay, so there's another one around here, and I don't think I'm in the right spot, and maybe it's not in this uh, particular playthrough, so maybe I should stop looking. We're going to head back to Sunnyvale again, because like I say, I'm deathly afraid of getting lost in here. You can see these these islands are just ridiculous and Canadian, and I am so confused and so cold that I'm just going to try and not die. It's pretty much the priority. Now, am I... Okay, I have no idea where that is. We're just gonna... <laughs> I, I'm sure all these, you know, islands have perfectly wonderful Canadian names. Um, I know Baffin Island, but we're not there yet. Um, so... This place is unknown to me and terrifying. Alright. We're in Sunnyvale again. And we're going to supply up once again. And 
hopefully soon we'll make our triumphant return to Europe and get a bunch of money because we're actually starting to run a little low on cash. Um, I don't like to have less than 50, 50 ingots in the bank. So I'm feeling a little bit constrained fiscally and in my pants. What? And this might be one of those dead ends that I was talking about earlier. I guess it isn't. I just have had such bad experiences sailing through here. It's just so confusing. I mean, it's nothing like the uh, north coast of uh, Eurasia, where it's basically just clear. There's no islands. Now, I recognize these formations here. And I know that this is a place where I often get lost. So, oh boy. <laughs> get ready to watch me die. I'm uh, partially sailing around, scouring everything, because I want to see if I can find more discoveries that I might have missed. I don't think that there are any here, but I'm a completionist. You guys know this about me. And uh, I think we're going to get a whole lot of nothing out of this. Although we might be entering uh, Hudson Bay. I think we just did. This is Hudson's Bay. No kidding. Well, we're in the port of Churchill. <laughs> Not actually named after Winston Churchill as far as I know. It's named after one of his ancestors who fought, um, what was it, in the Seven Years' War or something? At Blenheim or whatever. Well, we'll give this another Trailer Park Boys uh, themed name. How about... We're going to call this uh, Shit Tree, <laughs> because the shit apple doesn't fall far from the shit tree. Sage words. All right. You're a fool. You're a goddamn fool. Shit Tree is a nice name. It's in quotes. Whatever. All right. We're going to get out of here and hopefully not get scurvy. That's one thing we haven't run into is any scurvy. We haven't gotten rats. We haven't gotten scurvy. Storms have been pretty minimal, I've got to say. I'm used to getting just absolutely buffeted with storms in this. Um, so go us. Haven't had any problems with that. And watch that happen as soon as I get out of the bay here. Now we're by Quebec. I'm sure these have fancy names and everyone eats french fries and gravy and cheese curds. Poutine is actually quite nice, I have to say. Um, that's one thing I will say about Canada is they know how to do their uh, french fries. Poutine is a delight. It's an unmitigated delight. Alright, um... We're going to explore that island off to the north uh, that has the big black bars over it, indicating the presence of tits. The implied presence of tits, who knows. It could be dicks. And then we're all going to be very disappointed. So the scurvy thing that I was mentioning earlier, that will happen to your crew if you're out uh, at sea for too long, obviously. Um, that's kind of how scurvy works, if you don't get enough vitamin C. Um, but you're at sea, so how can... <laughs> just drink the water. Um, but I think it's after about 30 days you start running into the risk of scurvy here in this game. Now, disregard the whole thing, though, where there's not really very much vitamin C to be had in the Arctic, but that's just how it works. Hey, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, he's British. <laughs> what? Oh, you card. Um, you know, somebody brought up the point that in my Silent Hunter 3 Let's Play and in this Let's Play, I've been beating the shit out of the English. <laughs> and I don't... It's... You know, I have English friends. I love English people. <laughs> but I just don't think that they're entitled to the same rights and privileges that I... Um, 
Yeah, I. It's not intentional. I, I just have ended up playing games that are anti-British, I guess. Um, and as an American, you know, I, I've kind of got to have a mild distaste for them. Um, I'm a little bit worried right now on another topic because we are at sea for we've been at sea for 19 days, and I'm trying to figure out whether or not I should go back to uh, Shit Tree, or if I should go back to whatever I named uh, that. Uh, port in Greenland. I don't think I've named that yet. So I think I named something after uh, Mordhaus from Death Clock, but I'm going to go back to Canada and hopefully not die. And I've got the hiccups. How timely. We're paying our crew out the wazoo. And, let's see, where am I? And this is what I'm talking about. This area is just, it befuddles me completely. It's partly, too, because of the map. It, see, and now I thought there was supposed to be a way to get through there. Apparently not. And, oh god. There's not a way to get through there. Okay, I think I've got this. We have to go around the southern part of Baffin Island. It's good that I know what that is. And, um... Try not to die. Your uh, mate will let you know if uh, you have rats or scurvy or anything like that. I think we're going to make it just fine. I just don't like being at sea for that long. It's bad business. And shit tree? Shit tree? Shit tree? Come on, where's the shit tree? Let me look at my handy dandy digital GPS map. Okay, we're... Turn left. All right, there we are. Shit tree. Shit tree. Huh. Getting shitty in the shit tree. That was a was an Eddie Murphy reference about a Canadian comedy. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so we've. I know that that might have been a little bit boring for you guys, but I really needed to explore those areas to be able to get to the end of the game, basically. Um, it's pretty much imperative that you explore northern uh, Canada in order to get to the end game for this particular scenario. So we've done that. Bully for us. Um, I think what I will do is I will go to Greenland and stop things there. So you only have to hear my incessant droning for a few more minutes. Great job on sticking through it. Sailing through here. Moving on up to the east side. To Greenland in the sky. Uh, we're going to check out the St. Lawrence River here. To the south. There's nothing here, by the way. I mean, you've obviously been able to tell. But uh, that area is extremely boring for the most part. We got, I think, the one main discovery. I think that there might be another one in that area, but it's eluding me, so we're not going to see it. Maybe I'm thinking of it as being there when it's not. But regardless, we went there. We went there. No... They said, don't go there. Okay, uh, who are you? Hugo! You're heading to Kaffa, which is... I thought that was in the Mediterranean. You're confused, sir. Well, we're gonna go to New York. <laughs> and supply up. Alright. And actually, we have no reason to stop in, uh... Greenland, anyway. So we're just going to keep going to Europe. We're heading to Europe. We're getting close to the end of the game. It is the final countdown for Ernst. Ha! 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 Okay. Did I get everything? Yeah, pretty much. I'm, I'm going to see if it'll still trigger the end game stuff for me here in a bit. But we do need to get our fame up for sure. And I don't know if we've done enough to do that, but 
We'll find out. Just gonna cruise along, sailing around. And also by now, our ship uh, that we requested to be built has been finished for quite some time. So I'll have to take that out for a spin probably next, well, definitely next episode. And show you the wonders of the full rigged ship. And I would love to get it outfitted with uh, the best cannons in the game, but I don't think that's going to happen. So we're just going to have to uh, forego that. Really haven't used cannons in this game, to be honest. Um, they have different types. They have their assets and liabilities. There's ones that are really cheap and really bad, and there's ones that are really expensive and really good. There's ones that have really high damage and short range. There's ones that have really low damage but really high range. There you go. You know, you know about cannons. And we're in Europe. Let's go to... Oh, yeah. The professor's down here. So, yeah. We just circumnavigated the Americas. Not a big deal at all. We're back in Bordeaux, and uh, we're going to sell off our discoveries before... Um, the Dutch governor general slobbers all over them and takes them for his own and does unspeakable things with them. So, I'm going to wind things up. I'm glad that you stuck it out with me. Um, I hope to see you again very soon. This is Epping Controller. I'm going to be playing more Uncharted Waters very, very soon. Have a wonderful day, if you haven't already done so. Make it a great day. Oh, that is the most infuriating thing to say to somebody. Make it a great day. Fuck that. I apologize. See you later.